I have a lightened up alternative to mayo that is not only good for you, but it is also rich, creamy, and so easy to make. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do with my Greek yogurt mayo is prep the Greek yogurt. That's what I'm gonna use as the base for the mayo. It's gonna be one cup. And you know what I love about this recipe? Not only do you get that tang from the Greek yogurt, but it is very rich, it is very creamy, so you're not gonna miss the mayo. Not only that, but did you know that a cup of mayo, full fat mayo, 1,500 calories. That's incredible, that's insane. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it, but sometimes I can't always have that. This one is gonna be for a cup, 200 calories. You can't beat that, 1,500 calories versus 200. No, this is a win-win, I'm telling you right now. So the second thing we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and take a hard-boiled egg and we're gonna cut it right down the middle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a fork and I'm going to kind of mash it into the Greek yogurt. And you see how it's slowly mixing and incorporating? So we're just gonna work that in. And you don't need to work it all the way in because we're gonna keep adding more ingredients and as we go, we're gonna keep stirring it. We're gonna put two teaspoons of white wine vinegar. This is gonna give it that vinegary taste that mayonnaise usually has. Then we're going to do one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. That's gonna give it some brightness, some freshness. All right, that looks good. Then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. If you don't have Dijon mustard or you're not a fan of it, there's no problem in that. You can just go ahead and do half a teaspoon of dry mustard and it won't taste as pronounced and it still mixes in really, really great. All right, so Dijon is in. Then we're going to do half a teaspoon of sugar. In it goes. And if you're avoiding sugar altogether, it's not absolutely necessary, but I find it that it cuts a little bit of that tartness in the Greek yogurt, makes it a little bit creamier, more balanced. And the last little bit that you need to do is just a little pinch of salt and you will be all done. One little pinch, just finish it off with my little spatula. Look how creamy that looks. Look at that, that's beautiful. I love that. All right, so it looks perfect and creamy. I got my spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and try it for you guys so I can describe the flavor. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you, that little hint of sugar makes all of the difference. And if you like Greek yogurt, which gives it that nice, rich tartness, and if you like mayo, which means that you like creaminess, this is the recipe for you, especially if you're watching your waistline. Like I said before, from 1500 calories to 200, and two tablespoons of this, only 25 calories. So you can feel free to be generous with it and not feel guilty at all. Smooth, creamy, rich, delicious, it's a perfect substitute, and you can use it on anything that you would put mayo in. Sandwiches, egg salad, chicken salad, anything you can dream of. You can also use it as a nice dip for veggies. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you give this a try. You're gonna love it.